Feed the Lions food tour brings us to Leicester. We visit the city centre and the old town in search of the best halal eateries in Leicester, which takes us to halal hotspots like London Road and Evington Road. We'll also show you free places to visit, which makes this food tour the ultimate travel guide, which is sponsored by Halal Edition. The city's leading online wholesale butcher, specialising in HMC certified halal prime meats. They deliver to homes and businesses across the mainland UK. Day one and Brewery was a great way to start the tour. Located on Moat Road, this small eatery has been doing wonders on social media, which specialises in a breakfast and brunch menu. They've got an amazing Indian street food menu along with sandwiches. But it was the breakfast brunch menu which we were interested in. And they had such a big range but we went for the desi breakfast, which has a masala omelette or a choice of masala beans or chickpeas chole. Needing a break after that amazing brunch menu, we head over to Abbey Pumping Station Museum. It's next door to the National Space Centre and what makes the pumping station unique is that it has four working steam powered beam engines and if you pick the right date you can go down and see it in action. The museum was initially a sewage pumping station but it's now a museum of science and technology. We then head over to Downton in Evington Road. The menu consists of pizza, burgers and wings. And what we really enjoyed was the best seller, the downtown pizza, which has house tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, onions, smashed ground, Angus beef, chopped tomatoes, gherkins topped with its own in-house sauce. After downtown, just across the road, we go to Catalan Smoke. This fully HMC certified smokehouse serves grass-fed Angus beef brisket, slow cooked for 18 hours and pulled. And if you recommend anything from the menu, it would be the smoke box which has a choice of either delicious sliced smoked brisket, pork beef based in spicy Texas barbecue sauce, which come with seasoned rustic chips, creamy mac and cheese, a slice of toasted Texas bread, a dip, in-house pink slaw, pickles and garnish. If you haven't had smoked brisket before, this is by far the best value brisket in Leicester and probably the UK. Day two, and we go down to Food Central in Foz Park to the urban Lebanese street food restaurant Fatouche. Located over two floors, they specialise in wraps, bowls, bao buns, which come with a variety of options like beef, chicken, falafel, but Fatouche is defined by its healthy build your own bowls. With vegan items also accounted for, this brand has all the hallmarks of a progressive food company that's ideally set to catering for people from all walks of life, including the growing demographic of health conscious foodies. Next stop we go to the city centre where we would go to Italian inspired Affregato. This Italian cafe has all the breakfast and brunch items you expect including a variety of hot and cold sandwiches as well as jacket potatoes, smoothies. But if there's one thing we recommend on the whole tour it would be the Italian dessert Affregato made with the finest Italian coffee and handcrafted gelato. Affregato meaning drown literally has a cold scoop of gelato submerged in a strong shot of freshly made hot espresso coffee. The 46 seater restaurant is located next to Leicester Castle where we visit the Guildhall which is a timber frame building with the earliest part dating from 1390. The Guildhall acted as a town hall in the city until it was commissioned in 1876. Just 10 years ago they found the remains of King Richard III and that area is also worth seeing. We finish off the day heading back to Evington Road where we go to HMC certified Bombay Bites. They have a number of award winning restaurants in Leicester. This Indian fast food brand's model revolves around build your own box. With a number of curries, condiments, freshly made in house, you just can't go wrong with this because of the variety of the menu. And guess what, it tasted great too and is great value for money. Day 3 of the tour and we head over to London Road to Saffron Street. Another HMC restaurant was specialising in Pakistani cuisine. This amazingly decked out 120 seater restaurant has a vast menu. There's so much to choose from including the grill section. But what we recommend is the garak chai. It comes in a cart as a showstopper or best of all. It's probably the best garak tea we've had all year. We move on to Magazine Square to Newark Houses Museum and Gardens. The houses were used during the siege in Leicester in 1645 but it became famous because one of the residents weighed 50 stones which is Britain's largest man. The gardens of the museum are laid out in separate sides. The exhibition has toys from Tudor times to present. One of the best World War museums you can find including an amazing World War tunnel that reflects the home front during the Second World War. 
Next we go to Broncos on Narborough Road, which is a Halal HMC Peru Peru inspired restaurant. It's a family favourite with a 90 cover restaurant. There's so many things here to enjoy and while the Peru Peru chicken is a thing to go for, but we recommend the chicken wrap. And to finish off the tour, we head back to London Road to Heavenly Desserts. Heavenly Desserts, 80 cover site on London Road exudes luxury. Starting off on the chocolate section, we're going for the chocolate and pistachio fondant. It's one of those dishes you're always afraid to order because you never know how it's going to turn out. And here comes a true test. And look at the goo come out. This is a fantastic dessert. It's drizzled with pistachio sauce. It's got rich chocolate fondant and pistachio gelato. And that's the end of the food tour. Leave a comment below on places you think we should have visited and we'll see you on the next video. Feed the Lines Leicester Halal Food Tour is being sponsored by Halal Editions, the city's leading online wholesale butcher. They deliver to homes and businesses across the mainland UK.